These are for you. Well, what's going on? Some lady named Carol gave them to me. Wow, Carol, really? She was running late at the airport, so she gave me 30 bucks to hightail these over here. She had a message for you, too. Do you want to hear it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she said, our time together was beautiful. I treasure every moment we shared. She say anything else? You'll always be special to me. Wow, really? You always can make me laugh. Every time I think of you, I smile. You're just saying that. No, I mean it. Do you? Would I ever lie to you? Excuse me. This is kind of personal. Do you mind? Sorry, I'm sorry. It's just that I used to go out with you, too. It's OK. It's OK, really. They, they can stay. She also mentioned something about wanting to kiss you. Wow, really? <laughs> you have to shell out big bucks for a kiss. No, no, no. It's, it's OK. I'll take your word for it. Is that it? As much as it hurts, I have to move on. Hmm. Said that, huh? No, I said that. I got to get back to my cab. Oh. Uh, is there more? What? No tip? A buck. I think I know why Carol left you. <laughs> well, w wait. You never even told me your name. Luther. Luther Talbot, remember me fondly. It started with me being uh, broke. Um, my wife and I had moved to uh, uh, Quartz, Hill, Calif Quartz Hill, California, up in the Antelope Valley area. Uh, the agent I had dropped me, he says, because he had so many character actors and that he had to get rid of some of us, so he dropped me. Um, so I never really knew if that was the reason or was it the reason why that uh, Victoria Thomas called me and needed an actor for the grifter. And she couldn't play me, pay me my rate or she could pay me with scale. And I agreed to do it anyway. And he had told me, you never do anything without first contacting them and letting them know because mm -hmm. I'm not supposed to do scale. You know, I, I had a rate. So, but either way, uh, I didn't work for a while. My money was getting funny. Uh, so I started delivering newspapers in Antelope Valley. I worked about a week and they did a story on me as being a cult hero and repo man and so forth. And so the, the guy told me, he says, you don't need this paper, Rob, because you're a movie star. And he fired me. Mm -hmm. So now I'm walking mm -hmm. down the street in, in Lancaster and I'm walking between cars because uh, old timer told me, he says that people get out of their cars and they drop money and they don't take time to pick it up because they got to go. So I'm looking, mm -hmm. hopefully I'll find some money as I walk between the cars. And this kid came up to me and he says, aren't you that dude in Repo Man? I said, yes, I am. He said, well, you know, they're looking for a director at Anlo Valley College uh, to shoot their first black film, black uh, theater project. And uh, I said, thank you. So I went down there and I applied for it and I got the job. And that was my first directing job. Don't call me Corey Baker, call me Marco Hodge. Cause I'm not Julia's son like I was before. Don't call me Corey Baker, call me Marco Hodge.